And the part that they did play of the president's remarks, of course, end up cutting out the message the president sent to his supporters that day, that those who were heading to the Capitol should do so peacefully and patriotically. Of course, as they're playing the videos and they're telling their argument, uh, they aren't going to give the full story of the FBI warning a day ahead of time uh, that this attack was going to take place or that pipe bombs were being found uh, they were being placed and found before the president's remarks were even concluded or that the Capitol perimeter was being breached before the president uh, was done with his speech. Uh, there is a full story here. And one of the consequences of rushing to draft this article and then so many of the House Democrats, their for speech with the impeachment is that they're basing this primarily on the argument that the president gave a speech that day that incited a riot. And in so many ways, that's actually been disproven by now. And to your point, Lindsay, if you're going to start playing the video of what the president said, how do you cut it out right at the point where the president's telling his supporters to do so peacefully and patriotically?